What's going on? Welcome back to Canadian Dividends. So today we're going to talk to you about Bank of Nova Scotia. I want to go over some of the current data points and why Bank of Nova Scotia has been doing relatively good over this last little bit. Before I get into any of that, make sure you just hit that thumbs up. And with that, let's get right to it. So starting off at the time of doing this video, it is at $69 and change. Over the last one month alone, it is up 13.66%, largely outpacing a lot of its competitors as well as the TSX. So over the last one month, the TSX is up to 2.58 Bank of Nova Scotia, like I said, 13 and change. And even if we add, for instance, TD, good old TD and Royal Bank, so you do have, uh, and plus you can add many others, but it is still even outpacing them. And so there's a couple different attributing factors. Bank of Nova Scotia, their technicals is really pointing to higher highs, and that is driven by a abnormal amount of buying coming from institutions. So I'm going to go over in a second why institutions are getting in, but I'm going to go over this right here. So this is the Elliott Wave technicals for Bank of Nova Scotia. So it does have a pivot point of $66. So for as long as Bank of Nova Scotia is above that point right there, that pivot point, then it is anticipated to get between between that high 72 and high 73 range. So in general, it is well above a lot of the key pivotal moving averages. So I think the risk versus reward of uh, obviously investing at this stage is very much in favor of upside. Even options does signal that exact same thing. These are all the latest ratings coming out. So there was one new one recently, $4 or sorry, four days ago, $78 price target CIBC. Paul, who has a 63% success rating. So I think BNS has ran up very much so, higher than what analysts did previously anticipate. And their earnings wasn't all that great last one. So obviously that did put a little bit more of a damper. Plus at the same time, you see it did come out with this. So I did a video during this time period at the very end of August on how this sell-off was a very big overreaction. So as you can kind of see, Scotiabank Bank completes 4.9% initial investment in Key Corp. And I think it actually did occur, I can't remember exactly when, but nonetheless though, that investment caused it to go down dramatically, almost double the amount of the actual true investment. So clearly it was a overreaction. So that's what really caused it to go down as much as it did, which at the same time, in combination with their earnings, which as you can kind of see, wasn't necessarily the best. This is where you had the sell off. But as the market started to expand, have good data, the broader market started to look for value plays and discounted stocks and BNS, in comparison, like I just showed you, has been at a pretty substantial discount. Even if we use these same individuals and extend it over this uh, one year, like Bank of Nova Scotia is completely like well below even the TSX. TD has had their own problems, so that's why that's kind of lagging. And so, yeah, in general, BNS is getting the much needed attention that it longed deserves. And plus, aside from that, the technicals are pointing to higher highs. Shorts have been returning a little bit. So currently 3.08% of the free flow is being shorted. Um, just for transparency, BNS is not a squeeze play. I'm just bringing this up more so for analysis purposes, but utilization 10.4%, short score is 51. So the higher the number, the higher the likelihood of a squeeze happening. So of all the banks, it is very much heavily shorted. So uh, once again, that added a lot of downward pressure on BNS uh, in combination with the many things I've already brought up. And you can't argue with their yield. So looking at their dividend right now, 6.09% for that. Payout ratio is very acceptable. So 49.85% and just overall good, good numbers. So I think that BNS is a very good steal of a deal. Plus there was recently another 25 basis point cut coming from Canada. So that would be absolutely amazing for their bottom line. And not only just for their bottom line, just consumers in general as interest rates. So there's been 75 basis point cuts so far in total. That is really going to help the buying power, consumers buying power. So that will obviously indirectly really fuel a lot more loans. And it's kind of a very beautiful cycle that uh, 
BNS can flourish from. So in my opinion, I think just a lot of the data points are looking very good and primed and ready for a nice continuation of a breakout. Right now with it at $69 and change, it is trading between this R2 and this R3. So in comparison to a lot of other banks, uh, brick and mortar banks, you see it's definitely outperforming them. So BNS has a whole new level of kind of higher highs coming in my opinion. So 69.30 will be a strong support that you want to watch for. 71.88 will be that next strong resistance slash target. So let me know your thoughts on BNS in the comments below. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up and subscribe. I always greatly appreciate that. And with all that, appreciate all of you watching.